Hi everybody, I got around to doing another speed paint. This time our subject is Malicia Micawber, who is an original character in the Duckverse. Um, yeah, it's a character I greatly enjoy. She's very nonsense, no nonsense, very straight to the point, and has absolutely zero shame, so I adore her as a character. She's a very strong female character, um, and even though she's like the bad guy, I totally dig her. Uh, I do like villains, though. So this one is um, quite a bit of a challenge with the hair, especially, uh, because there's a fade. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'd say like ombrage or something like that, but I, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that wrong. I probably don't really know the word. But basically, it just fades from red to orange to yellow like a flame, which is the exact intent that the creator had. Um, and I always try to give that enough justice. Like, I always feel like it lacks, um, it lacks a bit of a, when I, when I do it digitally, that always seems to lack that, that nice fade. But somehow I can always recreate it with the markers. I did one other picture where I um, colored her hair and I feel like I did a very, very good job. Um, the other challenge I had in this was doing the, uh, the green here because I don't know the green was a challenge I just said that but it getting it to fade correctly and to look right just I struggled a bit with it but I know I pulled it together with the color pencil so I'm happy with it and I, I feel like I did okay with the um Copics and the color pencil just kind of brings it out um let me think uh, a little bit about the character she's amazing I guess is a word I I as a person I kind of look up to the character just because you know yeah she's a bad guy and she steals and blah 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 but you know what she has the guts to do what we all want to do so that's that's an admirable trait she has her moments I think where she's not too bad um yeah I just greatly enjoy the character so Everything for this, um, since it's an ATC, again, every little mistake I make, I just seem to, it stands out so much to me, but I think I'm going to stop pointing them out when I make them because I don't think anybody else would notice them if I didn't say something. Um, yeah. And as far as the creator for Melissa goes, she's actually a very wonderful, lovely person, and I'm just, I'm blessed to have been able to meet her and talk to her. She's very warm and welcoming. She's very dedicated to the, um, her website in particular, which is uh, negaverse.net and uh, the Duckverse. She's just uh, the role play site, I mean. Just very, very dedicated. And she spends a lot of time, and I think people don't quite realize how much time she spends just making things run smoothly for people to enjoy. So uh, she she's a very wonderful person, a very giving person. She's a wonderful listener, too. So yeah so she's watching this it's been a pleasure knowing you and i hope to continue getting to know you um so back to this now that i probably thoroughly embarrassed her uh yeah i'm using my color pencils to really kind of blend things and make them pop and bring them out because i don't necessarily have the right colors for shading in copics the color pencils just they work so well uh prismacolor color pencils work so well with uh copic markers that I think even if I had the right shades in Copics, I would still revert back to using uh, Prismacolor pencils to bring them out. They're just, they're fun. Plus it's a very expensive art supply that I never use enough of. So why not use it for this? Yay, flames. I was just gonna leave it a white background, but I made myself try to incorporate something Darkwing Duck themed into it because that's where basically Malicia rules is in the Darkwing Duck universe. And there I was trying to show the, it wouldn't focus, I was trying to show the um, pen color, it's Ice Queen, and I was like, yes, this is perfect for Malicia the Fire Demon, for Malicia the Duckybus. Totally needed to use Ice Queen. So I did. Um, I feel like it kind of didn't give the feel I wanted. I wanted like a darker feel for the background, but instead I feel like I kind of got like a murky, rainy day sort of feel for the background. But it still works, so I'm happy. Totally dig it.
And then I'm looking up references because I decided I decided what my background was going to be is the bridge from Darkwing Duck where he has his little hideout. Um, because I believe her little hideout is not far from there. And uh, it's kind of a recognizable landmark in, in the Darkwing Duck universe. And then I'm just doing some blending to kind of bring it down darker, kind of a fade down. Really, it should have been a fade up when you think about it, because that flame would have just popped if I'd done that. But I'm, I'm still happy with it either way. And I just kind of did this for fun. I knew I was going to not be feeling too good today. I've saved this one in particular for today because I knew what was going to end up happening. And I just I was going to need something to work on to try and bring myself back to feeling better. And so, yeah, I've shown like this doodle of it and everything. Uh, I'm just outlining in black here because I felt like it needed a little extra something to help bring the character herself out instead of just kind of, I felt like she was fading into the background a little bit. So, you know, default to thick black outlines to do that. Besides, it's a cartoon, who cares? <laughs> um, yeah, and I think I used a little bit of glitter pen later on in the flames to try and give, like, in, in person, yeah, right there, in person, that gives it so much more of a um, look to it, but it's it doesn't translate on to the camera, unfortunately. Um, and I'm just kind of outlining again one more time because the color pencil does fade the lines a little bit. And yeah, so we're coming up to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. Um, like and subscribe and comment below. And thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.